We are going to look at Output Manager now. On the Hypotizer home screen, click the Outputs tab. Once you have selected your Outputs tab, you'll see a screen that looks like this. By default, Hypotizer will have automatically patched your output with a mix of the same size. To change how it's currently patched, simply come up here and press Configure. You will not be able to edit anything without pressing Configure. It will then come up with a warning saying it's going to stop all of the outputs. This is obviously not something you'd want to do in a show condition. Click OK and you'll be able to edit it. You'll now be able to delete your mix or delete your viewport. On the right hand side, we have a list of outputs. You can change the resolution and the refresh rate of this output below. This will also change the resolution that Windows sees. Once you've got your outputs, you'll need to create a mix. Simply come over here and click Add New Mix. In Hypotizer, a mix is your creative space. It will generally be the resolution of the content that has been made through the show. So for instance, if you had an LED wall that was a certain resolution, you would set your mix to that resolution. If you had two projectors, which you were blending together, it will be the resolution of the two projectors minus the overlap. Below, we have our mix properties, so we can choose how many layers our mix currently has. 2 layers, 4 layers, 8 layers, 12 layers or 16 layers. We can also change the resolution here. If you click on the custom resolution, it will allow you to type in your resolution. So if you had two projectors overlapping with a 15% overlap, you could type in the resolution here. So for instance, 3264 by 1080. If you want to change it back, simply click 1920 by 1080. To join your mix and your output together, simply hit New Patch. This will create a viewport between your mix and your output. A viewport will choose which part of the mix goes onto which part of the output. So, for instance, if I were to change the size of the mix, I can do this in a number of ways, either using the mouse to drag it bigger or smaller. I can type in the pixel resolution or I could use a percentage. So now it will be taking the top corner of my mix and placing it on the whole of my output. If you look at my output manager now, you can see that you can only see the top quarter of the viewport. If I double click, it will reset it to the size of the mix. I can do the same on the output. If you look at my output now, you can see that if I type in 50% and 50%, now it's sending the whole mix to the top corner of my output. At the bottom here, we also have identify so we can see which viewport it is. If I click it, you'll see on the output it changes colour. And we also have windowed mode. Windowed mode is default on play and you'll not be able to turn it off. What this means is if you're programming with a single screen that your output can go behind your zookeeper and it does not take up the entirety of your screen. If I double click it will reset it back to the standard size. Once I have finished my editing I will need to click apply config. Now my mix will be onto my output. In Output Manager, we also have Output Manager settings. In here, you can choose which graphics card you're looking at. You can enable the Martin P3 integration. If you enable this, it means that the P3 PC software, which is running on the same machine, will see the Hypotizer mix or the Hypotizer viewport within the P3 software, allowing you to select them as a source. Underneath, we have Enable Virtualized Viewports and Enable Viewport Overlapping. Now, these two settings are only available if you're in Configure Mode. Enable Virtualized Viewports should be used if you're using more than four viewports or if you have multiple viewports patched to one output. Enable Viewport Overlapping allows you to overlap viewports. Generally, we find people do not want to do this, which is why it's off by default. However, if you do need to overlap your viewports for whatever reason, you may turn on the setting in here. 
The final option is render buffering. If you disable render buffering, it should help with any latency you are seeing on your capture card. Otherwise, leave it on automatic and it will work out the best setting for your environment.